So uh, a very good afternoon uh, to all of you. Today, uh, as a part of our uh, block one introduction to sustainable development of course one MSD011 sustainability science, we are going to discuss on sustainable development goals and uh, uh, we can say it's India's statement so far on how India is streamlining our policy and planning towards uh, the direction of achieving SDGs by 2030. And uh, as you know, this particular topics on SDGs, let us update which is related to uh, sustainable development, sustainable science is not available in our existing self learning material. Uh, the region, as you know, uh, it is because of the fact that uh, the basic concept, basic pillars of sustainability science is only there in our study material. And uh, uh, the way this particular discipline is um, progressing, so it may not be possible to keep, uh, I mean, to depend only on the available existing cell learning material. That is why whenever we are conducting, uh, Tejas is not able to join. Okay, someone please reply to Tejas in WhatsApp. I have already shared uh, this. Uh, in WhatsApp, I need uh, all your, um, not passcode is not incorrect. Uh, let Tejas use someone, sub, please reply to Tejas. So, I request anyone please reply to Tejas in uh, this um, uh, WhatsApp. Anyone from our group in WhatsApp, there are some issues. Whenever there is any query regarding they are not able to attend the session, uh, please pass on this message that they have to use this one passcode and others. Okay, anyway, passcode must be same. No? Uh. So, uh, uh, the point here, that is the reason why whenever you have uh, some specific um, session, you will have uh, updated information uh, on these broad areas of sustainable science. So in this line, today's discussion is on topics, uh, sustainable development goals and in India. And in fact, as you know, uh, whatever we are going to discuss today is not my original work but it is a kind of delivery uh, to reach or to update to our learners, including myself, um, based on some of the publication. When we talk about sustainable development goals in India, as you know, we have different go, uh, different policy and planning and uh, what uh, uh, some of the report published by NITA we use on that. We are updating those information, sharing those information through this medium so that you will be aware about uh, what has been done our achievement so far is a nation developing nation in this line of achieving sustainable development goals. So AIDS, uh, we know there are 17 goals. We have already had, uh, we had already a quick review on those goals. What are, are those goals? What we can do to achieve this goal as a global citizen. And here today, uh, we are going to uh, discuss those 17 goals in context of India. So the key and uh, who is playing a key role in, in uh, achieving sustainable development goals, I mean, uh, identifying the approaches and uh, monitoring um, uh, monitoring the progresses so far in national context. That is, we will uh, that is what we will discuss that national development agendas and agencies, what are our national development agenda and so how it is streamlining uh, in context to SDGs. So as you know, the key role in India, the, the national coordinator uh, is the basic responsibility is taken by NITI IO. And uh, if you look in national development agendas, we only even before SDGs, MDGs, were introduced, uh, introduced as a global effort for achieving sustainable development go uh, sustainable development uh, in the age nation like other nation we already have uh, uh, implemented or introduced a number of uh, policy and planning uh, to have uh, um, the uh, uh, in, I mean, integrated or holistic approach to the development then the leadership and coordination is also taken by NITI-IO 
in uh, in coordinated uh, with the uh, state level and at each and every level they have, there is uh, they identify uh, coordinate uh, coordination team uh, from beginning from national level from uh, to the ministry in each and every ministry uh, and then followed by in, in every uh, stats then that every stat is coordinated by uh, every uh, district so in that way, it is in local level, we are coordinating in a very effective way, um, effective way that is taken by NETAO. Then localization is happening. If you look into national level and uh, the, uh, we are NETAO is representing, even representing uh, in uh, that uh, international level, to, they are coordinating that in, uh, in, um, on behalf of our nation. Then local level, as I mentioned you that, after that, every ministry, ministry, uh, even ministry, every department has their uh, coordination officer, uh, coordinating, uh, I mean, group, then uh, every state have uh, identified their different department. For example, some of the state have state planning department as a coordinating agency to coordinate those progress or to monitor, to evaluate that, that, that progress, which is uh, related to, uh, I mean, uh, this particular sustainable development goals related activities. Then at local level, it's uh, in state local level, you can find out the deputy commissioner or every, uh, I mean, authority and we of the, um, like especially in India, we have the, 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 this um, responsibility is given to deputy commissioner or SDOs uh, to look into this uh, particular matter. Then monitoring is regularly uh, talking, uh, regularly uh, doing every six months. Uh, then it followed by annual meeting. I will not go in detail today about that. Uh, I will share the report and I'm sure you must have uh, this report also. Uh, but uh, um, regarding this, we'll have different, I mean, this session that uh, we'll talk about SDGs India Index. So monitoring is uh, basically based on some of the performance uh, to monitor that India is already have um, a two version of SDG India Index. First, uh, second version letters was uh, basically published in 2019 and its reports all, all, also our today's presentation is entirely based on this SDG India Index too. Uh, but here we'll not talk about uh, how, I mean, what is the mechanism of uh, that index? Because we are going to look into a quick look into what is our progress. So when you talk about indicators, we may have an understanding on uh, how uh, they evaluate or monitor the progress based on some indexes. So as you know, the first goal is to end po uh, to uh, no poverty, means to end poverty, to end poverty in all its forms everywhere by 2030. If you look into our population structure in terms of uh, geographical, uh, geographic, uh, geographical structure, uh, which is spread over uh, across the country, we'll find a very unique way. It is, uh, we have, um, uh, if uh, we have uh, different uh, social structure, uh, they stay, the population are spread over in different geographical landforms. And that is one of the, um, uh, one of the barriers for us uh, to have a uniform uh, or uh, this uh, means, uh, app, uh, means um, mechanism uh, to uh, study or to implement any, any of the policies and the program. And if you look into our social complicated social and that complex social structure, economic structure, you will find out that uh, maintaining uh, an annual uh, that average of GDP growth rate of eight percent in real terms very difficult. Uh, so for that we need to, uh, you know, when we talk about and poverty, uh, we need to uh, create a number of jobs. Uh, and as uh, you know, India is one of the young nation. We have larger proportion of um, uh, youth as compared to uh, other nation. And um, so we need to develop or we need to create more, I mean, uh, jobs, uh, means give more livelihood uh, to strengthen uh, our economic system means uh, to end the poverty across all sector of society. Secondly, if we look into targeted programs facilitated 
it those targeted program that facilitate income growth for the economical disadvantage by developing agriculture infrastructure this is very important because if you look into 70% approximately 70% of the total population of india is still i mean depend on agriculture uh, on the other end you must have find in this particularly in this uh, pandemic uh, that um, Okay, uh, pandemic in this uh, pandemic uh, in this particular pandemic, you will find that the role you will have, you must have appreciated the role of farmers to provide us for existence of life means provide the food. So we need to develop uh, infrastructure and support services uh, for developing agriculture, and then to product uh, to have a productive asset and. Uh, Giving job means you need to develop more skills and entrepreneurship uh, for the uh, different groups of society. And uh, another fact, another important area which we need to look is uh, to end poverty is, you know, our social protection mechanism is very weak. So we need to have a social protection measures and mitigation of risks from natural other disasters that ensure unforeseen uh, existence and that do not disturb the poverty reduction efforts because in this particularly in this era of climate change as you know climate change uh, never uh, i mean left it never leave anyone so it has uh, impact to each and every individual each and every i mean uh, members of uh, species including uh, the living uh, including uh, flora and fauna so we need to have such kind of social protection measures uh, to mitigate such kind of natural, unpredictable natural disaster. In that line, you have you know that we have a very strong uh, act that's called Mahatma Gandhi National Real Employment Guarantee Act. At least it, uh, this act provides uh, basic, um, I mean, livelihood, basic income to most of the uh, real and uh, unemployed uh, uh, citizens of India. And to end poverty, as you know, we need to give an access to a range of financial services, including banking, credit, insurance, and pension of vulnerable communities. And it is already provided, you know, Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Jojana. Under this Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Jojana, as many as 377 million accounts have been opened this uh, so far with deposit amounting to much such uh, 1079 billion this prime minister zandan josna also enabled direct benefit transfer means dbt to the accounts of beneficiaries and improve the effectiveness of social security provision if you look into the effectiveness of this pm zdy at least uh, we are able to control the third party when you transfer uh, you know that uh, social beneficiaries to the uh, uh, grass level, at least they, we are able to maintain. I mean, to, at least we are able to um, reach to the grass level without losing so much. I mean, uh, middle um, so much money. Then, uh, when we talk about poverty, the most uh, uh, important thing is uh, you know those and uh, this uh, group of people. Which is uh, as we define as uh, um, uh, that um, a section of the society uh, which are um, under the uh, below poverty line that do not have uh, that much uh, that kind of uh, income that they will be taken care by themselves uh, for their own health un unpredictable health situation. So we need to universalize primary health care that strengthen. Uh, uh, with the initiation of Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Jojana program. These are some of the program which uh, we are looking towards achieving and that uh, uh, goal one of SDG one. Again, if you look into disadvantage and vulnerable person uh, to have a social security for them, including the elderly, that uh, we, uh, we have widows for elderly, including uh, elderly windows, uh, widows and person with disability access pension, we have national social assistance program. So these are some of the program which 
uh, we are effectively implementing. And uh, another is it, you know, when you talk about the basic uh, needs of human, uh, as we know, uh, we used to say in Hindi, rot, roti, kapra, or makan. And housing is one of the basic needs. So our effort is uh, to access access to safe housing, which is very critical for as essential savage and uh, which is ensure under our initiative of uh, housing for all by 2022. Then if you look into energy sector, as you know, energy is the driver of life. Without um, an e efficient energy, and without energy, especially in this era, particularly in this um, age of uh, this particular last almost 10 months, we you must have realized that uh, electrification is one of the important uh, basic requirement if you look into the uh, sudden uh, the, uh, uh, that uh, change in our uh, uh, basic uh, our I means uh, uh, basic household requirement because when you talk about when you are in lockdown, uh, irrespective of where you are staying, we need information, even uh, for education also, everybody depend on, until depend on your gadgets, which needs, uh, which needs uh, electricity, power, energy. So, and uh, with, an, uh, with that, with, towards that direction, we are giving, uh, under the Sovagia scheme, we are giving access to electricity for all households in the country. And if you look into the uh, progress so far made during the last uh, one, two decades, even uh, before the SDGs come, uh, SDGs was uh, effectively uh, implemented, or means we are uh, implementing without, uh, before that also, as per the Tendulkar Committee estimates in 2011-12, in that the poverty rate, the percent, 21.9 percent of the Indian population lives below the poverty line. And sixty states and six union, uh, six states and six union territories have already achieved the national target of reducing uh, of reducing poverty rates be to below ten point nine five percent by twenty thirty. Goa among the states, Andaman and Nicobar Island among the union territories have the lowest poverty rates at five point zero nine percent, one percent respectively. That means we are improving. Then. Health insurance coverage, as I mentioned, and everybody knows, it is important. Uh, uh, most of the citizens, uh, we have to target 100% coverage of health insurance, uh, that universalized health insurance coverage, coverage. But unfortunately, we are not able to do so, but I'm sure, we are sure that we'll be able to achieve in another uh, three or four years, we'll be able to achieve that. We have to work towards that direction. And job now, to, uh, I mean, uh, up to uh, this is a report uh, that we prepared prepare, uh, or published by NITIO and last year in uh, November, December. As per that report, 28.7% of households have at least one member cover under a insurance health, uh, insurance or healthcare scheme. So, national target is cover to cover all households in India by 2030. I'm sure before that we will be able to achieve. So, as you know, um, we are uh, um, lagging behind in this particular um, area, so none of the state inventory has achieved this target, which sure will be able, though under Pradesh had uh, at least, uh, they reached 74.6%. Then one is, uh, everybody knows uh, this Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act is giving at least um, basic livelihood, basic incomes, to the eligible household or eligible citizens of India. Uh, though, so it provides 100 days of guarantee with employment in every financial year to, means in one in, in of the 365 days, 100 days they are giving, 100 days compulsory uh, work so that, uh, that at least they will be able to maintain uh, the basic requirement of their family. Uh, so it is also successfully I mean, uh, implementing, and uh, in fact, uh, we are having, uh, I mean, uh, this have good impact in international uh, context also, international level. Then if we look into ending the poverty, uh, we should not, uh, I mean, uh, avoid or neglect the role of uh, women. 
So in that, whenever uh, there is uh, issues of uh, this uh, during the maternity uh, period, uh, in that particular uh, period, uh, women's, I mean, is no, they will not be able to work. So we have a sc uh, scheme of maternity benefits. So under that scheme, 36.4% of eligible benefit, uh, beneficiaries uh, receive social protection benefits under benefits, uh, maternity benefits. So the nascent target is full coverage by 2030. This also, uh, as you know, we are not able to achieve. I'm sure the country will be, uh, will be able to achieve in that this context. Every individual should play an important role as we discussed last time when we talk about equity and equality. Then uh, uh, this is also very important housing, house living in kacha houses. That's also, we are improving a lot because um, household is uh, one of the fundamental right. Uh, so we have to provide that if you have at least one kacha house, at least they will be able to earn their livelihood uh, peacefully and they will be able to, if you do not have uh, the basic um, uh, that houses, uh, housing facility, then it will also be very difficult to mantel, uh, to maintain your uh, this health care, uh, health also. So this is one of the important uh, basic um, right we have to give and uh, it is also improving, right? Manireka, as you know, this is one of the things. Then like, next is, uh, this also, you know, when you talk about uh, and poverty, poverty we have a line, but uh, that is the important question that poverty, hunger are interrelated. So we need to end hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. In this context, you have to understand the importance of food quality means nutritious food. That is very important. So to end hunger means not only the quantity of food you are providing to each and every individual, but we have to look into the quality, nutritive value of that food. So in that we have food and nutrition security. Uh, for having food and nutrition security, we have public distribution system under the National Food Security Act. 2030. You look here, this NFSA was introduced in 2013 and uh, MDZ, SDZ came up in 2015. So if you look that we already tried. So under this National Food Security Act, our objective is to give food as a fundamental right and we are assuring to have a food security at the house level and from the perspective we used to have uh, that I mentioned you, this is the right. So right base, it is a kind of right based uh, approach. Then we have another scheme or uh, the program that's Antioidea Anna Yosna. So the poorest from amongst the poverty line, below poverty line families are entitled to 35 kg of food grants per month at more subsidized rate. And it is particularly if you must, you must have evidence in this particular lockdown period of this period, not only lockdown, even today also the government of India is giving 35 kg of food grants per month, even without taking any single money, particularly in this COVID-19. Okay. Then uh, this midday meal scheme that was started one decade, uh, one and a half, uh, two decades ago, this is one of the important uh, scheme which uh, government of India is effectively implementing in a success in a high, uh, with a very highly successful rate. And this have a multiple benefit. One is we are able to give nutritious food to the school going children that cares about their health also, not only that, that also taken care of school dropout in particular stages of side. Okay, this, so uh, at least under this scheme, one uh, benefit is the children will get, will get nutritious food, means they will not be hungry. 
and uh, they will get education. Okay. Then we have National Nutrition Mission, that's Portion Abiyan, a multi-ministerial conversion mission, which was launched in 2018. Uh, to make a concerted, uh, concerted attack on undernutrition stunting anemia. This particular three basic component, undernutrition, this has, this since after independence, we have this problem, uh, these issues with our society, particularly disadvantaged uh, group of uh, society, that stunting growth, uh, also an anemia. Anemia is still exists. So we need to take care of uh, this particular uh, three important issue. We are doing well by using this national nutrition mission. When you effectively implement national nutrition mission, at least this undernutrition stunting anemia will be taken care. The another to end hunger is, you know, if you look into the country like India, and uh, for, since, you know, uh, I mean, uh, we uh, it's very common in newspaper that uh, farmers are taking extreme steps of suicide and others. What is the basic reason that? Their production, they have, they have been loaned because of loan and all these things. So the point is that we need to have a specific policy on agricultural productivity, how to improve their income. For that, we have Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchaya Jojana. At least that will be able to give basic, I mean, uh, way of, uh, to improve their production and at least to maintain uh, their income. So through this Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchaya Jojana, her khetto pani mean effective use of water resources. So that also in farm level, it is bad. Then Pradhan Mantri Pishal Bima Josna, it's also provide better insurance coverage. That's why that's taken care of the basic important social issues of suicide among the farmers because of deaf and others. So agricultural credit, credit at a reduced rate of 4% annum to farmers. And uh, government is also giving 6,000 per year to every farmer in the country as a subsidy I mean, under Pradhan Mantri Kishan scheme to boost their income. Then we have another scheme, the Pradhan Mantri Kishan Sampada Josna that have that open a door, door to the farmers to produce, to show their product in the uh, mega food parks. Means developing infrastructure to showcase their product. And uh, uh, that infrastructure, developed infrastructure for agro processing cluster, integrated coal chain and value addition infrastructure undertaken in addition to other components. The best, if you look into the issues where farmers are facing, is we do not have proper on farm, off farm, that threat mechanism. Linkages is not strong, but under this Pradhan Mantri Kishan Sambhata Josna, at least we are able, uh, we are able to take care of that particular gap. If you look into progress, you will find that, that if you look into, for example, in terms of food subsidy, uh, as per uh, uh, socioeconomic caste census in 2001, uh, that every household where the monthly income of the highest earning member is less than Indian rupees 500 as per socioeconomic means most of the household have a member at least a member that earn 5000. And that is taken care under PDS public distribution system. So if you look in the performance Manipur among the states and Delhi among the union territories have recorded best performance. Then we talk about anemia. Anemia among women, this is one of the indicator we have to understand because uh, that uh, uh, especially health of the women is the indicator of health of our children. 
So in this also, we are improving the target of World Health Organization uh, is 50% reduction of anemia in women of reproductive age uh, by 20, uh, 20, that is is between 15 and 49. So uh, our nation also had at the target of 25.15% by 2025. Uh, in that Kerala is 22.6%, 23.6% by Sikkim. So we have to improve. I'm sure we will be able to improve that also. And in that even territories, Puducherry has performed the best 26% and is close to achieving the target. Next, the anemia among children. This is also an important indicator to look into the performance of that, uh, that uh, to end hunger. So 40.5% children, that is six to 59 months are anemia in India. Uh, our aim is to reduce by 14% in 2030, uh, which is very prevalent uh, of uh, anemia among children. Uh, high income countries. So three states, Nagaland, Manipur, and Kerala, Kerala have already closed the set target and children and MRH uh, at 8, 10, 12 percent, 12.5 percent respectively. It's very low. 8 percent is nothing if you look into that. 10. So that's also improved. So agricultural productivity, as I mentioned you that we have enough quantity of production but we have a gap in that uh, mechanism of threat that we call its on farm off farm linkages so there is not uh, we have gap in uh, effective linkages of that on farm and, and of uh, on farm and on farm threat linkages so in that if you look into progress our objective is to improve by double that is uh, 5,033.34 kg per hectare production. We'll be improve if we'll be able to improve that. So I'm sure uh, the country will be improved. In that, we need to uh, appreciate or we need to develop a number of policy program for the farmers. Gross value added in agriculture, this is also very important. We are also, you know, uh, that particularly uh, our nation is working on that, that product because uh, whatever the product we have that has to be efficiently used. Each and every product and by, by product has to be um, utilized. So uh, in that uh, 0.68 Indian rupees, 0.68 lakhs is the gross value added in agriculture per worker currently, the targeted value is uh, 1.36, uh, which in accordance with UN target 2.3. Among the states, Goa with a GBA in agriculture per worker is 3.7, exceeding. Uh, then uh, uh, Punjab at 2.4, Kerala at 2.9 lakhs are the leading performers. Among the Union territories, Andaman and Nicobar Island, Sandig and Delhi have surpassed uh, surpassed uh, targeted value of Indian rupees 2.98, 2.78, and 2.35 lakhs respectively. So some state is performing well, others will be achieved. The third component is you no know, good health and well being. If you have good health and well being, I'm sure we'll be able to tackle 50 percent of the issues which exists at least at individual level how, and household level. Because to end poverty and to end hunger is directly related or interrelated to this particular goal, good health and well-being. So under that, we know that we need to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. So the extent of change improvement in India's healthcare system over the past decade is remarkable. That is in front of us. We have seen that. And there have been significant shifts in health studies adopted in a new direction say, uh, set. And uh, the emphasis is on water and sanitation. This is very basic, this is very important. When you talk about 
health and well-being, water and sanitation is the first component of with which we need to give emphasis. So we're taking emphasis, giving emphasis on that to our Swas Bharat mission. And we have a considerable impact on the spread of communicable disease. Now, at least we are able to control spread of communicable disease through this, through this Swas Bharat mission. We have people effectively implemented that. Then National Food Security Act, the National uh, Nutrition Mission and Portion Abhiyan, these are related with your health and well-being. These are some of the program. Another in this era of technology, we have to utilize the technology. So this technology is leverage for improving efficiency of the health management system. If you look into I told you, as everybody knows, our uh, diversity in landform sometimes this geographical landform is, has become one of the barrier in fil infiltration or uh, I mean, to reach uh, our scheme or uh, whatever the approaches program, program to highly remote era of our country. So we have to use technology. So we have for under this goal, we have electronic vaccine intelligence network to track and improve immunization coverage, unmold NM online to extend better maternal newborn care service and use of artificial intelligence to improve diagnostic and treatment. So in this time also COVID also, we have uh, that uh, uh, we are effectively uh, utilizing this Arogya set two, um, Arogya set two uh, to track on status of individual health. Uh, this is also uh, effectively. And uh, when you want to develop a healthy nation, one of the important component is we need to have a holistic, uh, better reproductive, maternal, newborn, child adolescent, uh, adolescent healthcare system. So we have RM and H plus A strategy uh, that have profound impact on the maternal health situation. Okay. So towards universalizing immunization, the mission Indra, <coughs> sorry, Danus aims to immunize by 2020. In this direction also, we're achieving a lot. The government has recognized the burden of this communicable disease uh, it has been working to eradicate them through several targeted programs such as National Edge Control Program, the Revised National Tuberculosis Program, and National Bacterial Bone Disease Control Program. It is talking about communicable disease. We have NCV, NPCD, yes, that is National Program for Prevention uh, and Control of Cancer, Diabetes, Cardiovascular Disease, and Stroke. That's also we have. Then mental health care is also very important. So we have Mental Health Care Act 2 in 2017, uh, which has an entitlement opposed to the delivery of mental health care, health care and services under, under that. For ensuring universal health coverage, uh, we have it's uh, Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Josna with its two components. One is Ayuswan Bharat and another is Health and Wellness Center in 2018. Like we have Fit India movement, right? That Ayushman Bharat also targets to provide health insurance cover to over 100 million poor and vulnerable families, approximately 500 million individuals, up to Indian rupees 5 lakhs per family per year for secondary tertiary institutional care. So we are, I mean, aggressively implementing in a number of new and very, I mean, important schemes and programs to achieve the goals. If you look into the progress, one, some of the indicator, basic indicator, I have identified some of the basic indicator on that maternal mortality ratio, the progress so far. If you look from maternal mortality ratio, because when you talk about uh, uh, reproductive health uh, and we talk about uh, uh, universal health, this is one of the indicator to understand uh, that um, uh, the, uh, 
status of health status of a country. So maternal, maternal mortality ratio stands at 122 per 100,000 live birth in one lung. The UN target is to reduce it to 70 per 100,000 live birth by 2030. Three states, Kerala, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu have achieved this target with MMR of 42, 55, and 63. Respectively, Assam has the highest MMR at 229. Then <clears throat> institutional delivery is also very important. You know, if you look into uh, that maternal death, still birth, this has really happened most of the time. It's really happened when it uh, the uh, the delivery of uh, child or deliveries of child is uh, uh, happen in their uh, home. So we need to. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, implement or we have to need to develop infrastructure for institutional deliveries. And uh, we also achieve a lot. Approximately 54.7% of estimated deliveries happen in the health institution in India, means more than 50%. The target is to increase it to 100%. And Kerala best performing with 74% institutional deliveries. Among the Sunday, among the UTs, Union Territories, Sandigan and Ponduchari, have achieved the target of 100%. Another is also under five mortality rate. It's also we are improving for every thousand live birth in India, 50 children die before completing five years of age. So Kerala, uh, so the UN target is to, to bring it down to 25 per thousand live birth. Kerala, Goa, and Goa among the states and Andaman and Nukova Island, Puducherry, uh, Puducherry uh, among the Union Territories have already achieved this target. The highest uh, number uh, rate is in Uttar Pradesh. So these are some of the progress so far made. We have we are able to, I mean, achieve the tuberculosis, uh, at least control the tuberculosis. HIV incidence also we are able to achieved under National uh, AIDS Control uh, Society program. Uh, then family planning also, we are achieving a lot. So, to improve uh, that universal healthcare, education is one of the important. So we have free equitable quality primary and secondary education under uh, different scheme of service success began last time academic shiksa abhiyan and teachers education so three these through this also we are effectively taking care of early style of development and uh, care and pre-primary education and the next one is quality education is also important uh, for achieving another goal so that's i told uh, as we know that all the goals are vertically interlinked so for that, accessible, affordable, and quality higher education is important. And we are drawing towards that direction, implementing towards that direction with a consistent effort to expand the formal base of higher education with a particular focus on technical, professional, and vocational education. Uh, then enrollment number in higher education is estimated to be I-37.4 million with 19.2 million boys and 18.2 million girls. We're achieving, we're improving uh, that. And that's under this direction, under this, um, uh, towards this, in this line also, we have latest national education policy 2020 that talks about uh, the, uh, the, the uh, introduction of technical, professional, vocational education at different level. The skill development, economic growth also under that we have Pradhan Mantri Kaushal because Josna that supported youths in taking up industry level relevant knowledge and skill uh, to secure a better livelihood. We have conducive educational facility that are child, disabled, gender sensitive. Uh, several scheme like uh, Betty Bachao, Betty Parao uh, that also encourage or uh, or promote educational facilities. Um, uh, that are sensitive, sensitive to the needs of disabled children and girl children and inclusive education and different scheme where injuries. Then under this Swas Bidalaya, we have separate toilet facilities for girls and that have to, uh, to address the female dropout to considerable extent. 
this is uh, the progress of uh, math. Enrollment ratio, it is also, we are also increasing school children out of the school it is also decreasing. The average annual dropout rate also decreasing. Uh, means we are uh, I mean, improving proficiency in class three, five, eight and 10 in terms of language and the mathematics also increasing. Then enrollment ratio in higher education is also, I mean, increasing a lot. The fifth one is gender equality in that we have, uh, if you look into, uh, this already exists in our uh, uh, tradition, I mean, uh, 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 society in our uh, tradition or custom. Uh, uh, and even we have the principle of gender equality in the objective of gender uh, justice are already embedded in the constitution of India uh, that are sought to be actualized to various legislation, policies, program, and especially number of uh, government initiative. So initiative to eliminate poverty, strive to address issues of women, uh, access to economic issues, women in poverty and those related uh, to their access to economic issues, financial service, social protection, opportunities for skill development and employment. This you must have seen last two, three decades we are aggressively implementing this. So government schemes such as Betty Bachao, Betty Parao, Sukanea, Samridi Zosna. These are some of the schemes that talks about the gender equity. Okay. And in this commitment to us undertaking reforms to ensure gender rights and equality is reflected in several legislation enacted for ensuring equal opportunities and dignity of life uh, for women, like we have the Dowry Prohibition Act, Protection of Women, Domestic Violence. Uh, at 2005, then we have uh, IPC 376 uh, uh, to, uh, uh, relating to rap, the Immortal Traffic Prevention Act 1956, then Sexual Harassment of work, uh, Women at Workplace Act, then and the Prohibition of Child Marriage, Marriage Act, Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act, and the Equal Remuneration Act. These are some of the act. and. Uh, we will find out number of um, egg, uh, who, that talks about uh, 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 that um, talks about women life. Eradicating sex selection and uh, post birth discrimination that's also uh, we have uh, available uh, that's all, uh, also in, uh, reflected in our number of uh, legal interventions. And if you look in the progress in towards the direction as an indicator of equity and equality. Uh, the preference of uh, boys was very, uh, was, uh, it's common, but uh, now if you look into uh, assess that we have uh, particular, you know, uh, the child sex ratio is one of the indicator. And now it has declined from 927 in 2001 to 919 in 2001. Uh, uh, there's preference means preference of boys. Because uh, our um, uh, so some community they follow that uh, selective abortion, sex selective or abor uh, abor uh, abortion. The Betty Bachao, Betty Parao said the girl child enable higher education is a comprehensive scheme, and uh, we are effectively implementing that thing. Then to access to reproductive health and wellness, we have maternity benefit program like Pradhan Mantri Matru Bandana Josna which was initiated in 2016 under umbrella ICDH under Ministry of Women and Child Development then uh, that has aimed to provide partial compensation for the waste loss in terms of case incentives such uh, that the woman can take adequate rest before and after delivery of her first living child. That is effectively used. We have Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Josna. That's taken care of health of the woman because indoor air pollution is one of the important threats to the health of the women. That's under this Pradhan Mantri Ujla Josna, uh, that LPG cooking fuel, clean cooking fuel, uh, LPG is provided. Another is Sukanya Samadhi Josna, uh, that uh, back uh, the student, uh, that back the girl science, uh, that uh, uh, the parents of the girl science, uh, at least uh, to have uh, their better future in terms of education and for expansions of marriage under this Josna. It is taken care of. Then Dindayal Odoye Antiyodaya Josna, 
this is one of the national livelihood mentioned because when you talk about uh, uh, equity that doesn't uh, that not only talk about uh, gender equity it should talk about a uh, social equity that's also covered under this din dialo antoya da josna and uh, uh, it encourages uh, to establish or to organize self help groups and this plays an important role to uh, improving the livelihood and uh, uh, to improvement to have a economic growth in a nation that's why we have pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana uh, short term skill development that's for women and that's all, uh, regularly going on and uh, in that i would in this equality i want to mention that if you look into the government sector also we have maternal uh, uh, maternity benefit to uh, the women uh, to the women uh, Uh, for six month maternity leave and other number of uh, scientific um, uh, i mean program like women scientist scheme and uh, more there are number of uh, i mean scheme under dst dbt so these are some of the initiative under government of it the one of the basic as you know water clean water and sanitation which is also very important when talk about uh, health and uh, sanitation and uh, health human health and well being so in this line also uh the basic important is to give seven affordable drinking water for all we have under that we have national drinking water uh, program that are giving uh this much means uh, access to 40 liters of drinking water per capita per day and another 15.58% uh, with parcel access so we have jal jeevan mission under the jal jeevan mission mission which was uh, launched uh, this campaign was recently launched under this uh, we have jal shakti abhiyan that aims at uh, water conservation and rainwater harvesting renovation of traditional underwater bodies reuse of water resources and infrastructure water so development intensive afforestation to broader community mobilization and participation to achieve water secure future for the country for water quality uh a host of measures are implemented and uh, we are uh, the central water commission and uh, central pollution control board they are taking care of they are regularly monitoring on the quality of water uh, for uh, surface water and uh, surface water and ground water also we have namami ganga's program for a clean and pollution free uh, rivers in india and if you look from sanitation and health and hygiene we have swachh bharat mission uh, that reduce uh, the often defecation and uh, that have uh, to uh, with an uh, objective of uh, india uh, to achieve open defecation free mm. and uh, uh, it was achieved 19 more than 90 95% has been covered 95% of our uh, uh, country is covered under about uh, or the open defecation free the access improved sources sources of drinking water uh, in that uh, in that also we are improving our a lot some of um, the achievement are here you will find out that 95.5% of the household have access to improved source of drinking water still uh, the government is trying uh, to provide uh, that potable water when you talk about sanitation and then uh, uh, we need to understand uh, the number of rural household with individual household toilet uh, we are achieving a lot this are some of the uh, i mean scheme as we know source bar under source bar mission uh, as on uh, 20 uh, on 5 december 2019 a total of 10 lakh uh, uh, 1 crore 15 uh, One crore more than ten uh, crore, fifteen lakh, eighty-three thousand and fifty-three household toilets have been constructed in rural areas since second October twenty fourteen. This is big achievement. Uh, we have to take care of about about urban household, individual household toilet ninety-seven point twenty-two percent, 
and often defecation free district 90.7 percent of district india have been verified to be open defecation free till december 2019. then uh in that it's uh, we when you talk about equality also uh, equity uh, that um, we talk about uh, uh, toilet facilities for girls that's also in different school uh, we have established or we have constructed separate toilet facilities for girls then wastewater treatment also very important that's also effectively implementing under different egg <clears throat> and the uh, cpcb is taken care of that then the number seven is affordable and clean energy under that you know, uh, you know, we need to ensure access to affordable and sustainable energy for all. That's why first point is uh, availability, acceptability, affordability. And that's important under that uh, we have universal access to electricity and a clean cooking file. And uh, we're increasing share of renewable energy in countries and improving energy efficiency in those national energy policy we have clear cut national energy policy uh, under pradhan mantri sahaj bijli har ghar yojana means saubhagya is one of the program that aims explicitly explicitly at saturating electricity connection in the remaining household means we have cover more than 90% of our household the assistance is also provided under integrated uh, power development scheme and then Dindal, Upadhyay, Gram Jyoti Josna. These are some of the uh, program um, uh, with an objective to give access to electricity to all. And uh, we are also, uh, I mean, the implementing a number of uh, pollution program to have a renewable energy, sip towards re renewable energy. This is our target to 75 gigawatt of renewable energy by 20. 2027. Clean for, uh, cooking foil under Pradhan Mantri Uzula Josna, which I mentioned you when we talk about uh, gender issues that uh, we're giving uh, that LPG to the real household, especially to the uh, women, uh, BPLs, uh, um, uh, women under BPL. Okay. Energy efficiency also for energy efficiency, we have national mission for energy enhance energy efficiency in 2008. Uh, and uh, uh, we have uh, the schemes like Bureau of Energy uh, Efficiency that read uh, um, if, uh, that uh, efficiency of you know, uh, the electrical appliances. And uh, we have energy conservation building court. These are some of the initiative and we're effectively implementing. And uh, household electrification, we are going well. Uh, and clean cooking foil also, we are going well. To, uh, and Sikkim is at 96.3%. Uh, second, among the state, uh, this is first. And among the Indian territory, Puducherry is close to achieving the target 96.5%. Uh, then next is, uh, you know, uh, goal number A, that is decision work and economic growth. Giving livelihood doesn't mean that you are giving, giving job doesn't mean that uh, uh, you are, uh, I mean, <clears throat> you will take care of their income, but that job should be decent work that have important role in economic growth. So with one person out of every six on the planet living in the means, India being one of the second, means second populous country, we have largest number of individual. So, when you have a decent job for eligible youth that shows that economic growth of the world, I mean, economic condition of the world will be improved. So we have to take care, not only India, the other countries should also be taken care. We have under this to achieve all these things, we have funding small enterprises. Startup India is one of the innovative, uh, I mean, approach of achieving uh, that um, uh, this goal, then we have uh, this mudra scheme also uh, scheme also that provide financial support to the small and micro enterprises sector. Then we have number of business reform uh, like make in India. We have insolvency and bankruptcy court 2016. 
to simplify the procedure related to debt default and consolidate that law related to insolvency of the companies. And uh, we recently in 2017, uh, 2070, we use GST, we introduced GST Act, Good and Service Tax Act. These are some of the I mean, um, uh, innovative reformation we have done. In employment, as uh, repeatedly we're discussing Skill India, that's also getting a number of benefits and reaches to a number of, uh, large number of individuals. Under this Mahatma Gandhi National Real Employment Guarantee Act, minimum of 100 days of wage employment in a financial year, it's given uh, to adult members or volunteer for unskilled manual work. This, all, um, this is also one of the um, success program uh, that targets to improving livelihood, right? We have more than said, uh, 40 central acts which govern matters related to fair wages, social security, labor welfare, industrial safety and health, industrial relation, employment. A number of uh, legal intervention is there to take care of health, take care of the, this particular, to achieve this goal. If you look into the progress, our unemployment rate is, uh, dec uh, I mean, decreasing, uh, labor force participation rate also, uh, increasing, uh, but unfortunately, let us see in the post corona, uh, it may have impact uh, because of uh, the global pandemic, uh, corona, uh, COVID 19. And uh, oh, let's hope for the best. We may have some, I mean, problem in this particular um, uh, uh, parameters. Then the banking outlet is also one of the indicators in the country to have 13 banking outlet per one lakh population. Uh, so among the state territories, Goa and the Sandicat display the best performance concerning the number of banking outlets per 100,000 population at 34.72 and 23.37 respectively, which are much higher than the national level. So banking outlet is also an indicator we have to uh, look. Then the household with a bank account, we have 99.99% household in the country have bank account as of 2019. That is under Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Jojna. Okay, we are wishing uh, well. That also taken care of corruption and at least that is free from, at least we are able to limit um, uh, that issues of corruption. Then under Prime Minister uh, Mantri Jandhan, Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Josna, then that is taken care of uh, that women account holders. This is also one of the important. Uh, then the, uh, nine is industry innovation infrastructure, which is very important. All goals are vertically uh, interrelated, interlinked. In that infrastructure has to be developed, communication, we are doing very well in infrastructure also nationally in developing highways uh, and uh, other uh, that, uh, that uh, school and uh, universities and then uh, extra business reforms which we have discussed manufacturing sector also we have different scheme back in India uh, innovation and designs uh, even MHRD is also doing a national innovation council and others and encouraging the teachers and her students uh, to take part in innovation, uh, research and development, innovation ecosystem, increasing public investment also, then skilling the Pran Mantri Kausal Bikasosna. This is one of the important that taken care of most of this innovation and design and to give and livelihood to give job. So in that, if we look into the some of the uh, I mean index indicators uh, to understand this particular goal is road connectivity. We are improving in fact means infrastructures extension of road connectivity means uh, developing infrastructure. That's we're improving employment and manufacturing sectors also improving, uh, but I have doubtful about this as I mentioned you that let us see uh, what has happened in the last ten months. That is only barriers with us, not only in India, all over the world. The internet density, mobile tele density is important in this era of uh, ICT. That's also, I mean, increasing day by day. 
And because of that, we are effectively implementing uh, uh, or effectively implementing some of the mechanism to fight with uh, um, global COVID-19, global pandemic COVID-19. So internal density and mo mobile daily density is well, uh, good. Reduce inequalities uh, within uh, or among the countries means it's we are dis uh, continuously discussing this. So we already have different scheme uh, that talks about uh, women, that talks about uh, disadvantaged group of uh, uh, society uh, and individual disabled people uh, means um, uh, especially able people. And uh, uh, under that uh, to uh, end poverty and to have an equal society means inequality. Uh, we have Manirega, then National Social Assistance Program, uh, Assistance Program. Then we identify aspirational district program that has a commendable, I mean, considerable law and a commendable uh, the performance also there. 112 relatively backward district identified from all across the country and they are monitored on a real-time basis to measure the development outcome, outcomes attempt to bring them at par with other districts. So when you talk about intra-national, uh, intranational or inter-district uh, inter, uh, uh, or uh, I mean, development progress, we need to identify uh, the backward district and uh, we need to improve uh, uh, their, um, I mean, uh, development progress. So we have that aspirational district programs. Right to education is also one of the important act, right to education act, at least they, they are giving rights to educate till 14 years, to have an equal society and to give opportunity to all. We have Pradhan Mantri Council because Zosna is also one of that. We are repeatedly discussing with this. That's why I'm not explaining to all these uh, particular schemes which we have. Then for uh, vulnerable groups, we have Betty Bachao, uh, Betty Parao, then support to training and employment program for women step, then they are rehabilitation scheme. These are some of the scheme. Number of scholarship, number of scholarship that uh, uh, are given to uh, different, uh, uh, I mean, uh, vulnerable groups of society. Okay, the financial inclusion under Pradhan Mantri Mudra Josna that support entrepreneurs by providing credit to micro and small enterprises. So, some of the uh, indicators to look into the performance income inequality that is lowering our inequality, inequality gaps in income inequality is lowering. Political inclusion is also improving. Uh, then percentage of uh, women participation, percentage of different groups of um, uh, uh, communities, they are also, for example, legally we identify that we have uh, that social group, SC, ST, OBC, and then uh, economically weaker section of society. If you look into that also, well, we have improved a lot. Then, then schedule cost, sub plan for utilization, that's also 100% utilization is happening. Uh, then schedule trial sub plan for, because those, uh, we are, I mean, improving a lot. Utilizing 100% of uh, that particular plan, uh, that utilization that shows that we are trying our best level and the result is coming. 11 is sustainable cities and community. As you know, cities are the center of economic growth. Cities taken care uh, more than 70% of our economic growth. So for that, uh, we have reforms in real uh, state sector, uh, regulation, the real estate regulation development act 2016. This is one of the transformative uh, legislation that aim to Ensure regulation and promote real estate sector efficiently, transparently, and to protect the interest of home buyers. Urban transformation housing for all. We have Amrut. We have uh, for urban Pradhan Mantri Awaz Josna. And uh, you know, we have smart city program. 
sustainable urbanization smart city mission is there and house completed under prime minister our pravan ran mantri awa josna this is some of the indicator we are improving a lot then we have 10 year framework of sustainable Oh, one slide has missed. This is under uh, uh, this call, sustainable consumption and production. We have, uh, as a part of commitment, India is moving towards implementing the 10 year. This is another goal. Okay. Framework for sustainable consumption and production, which is a global commitment. To, uh, we have under this, we have 10 year finance uh, year framework for uh, programs of sustainable consumption and production. We have six program areas, sustainable public procurement, sustainable building and construction, sustainable tourism, uh, including ecotourism, sustainable food system, consumer information, sustainable lifestyle and education. To achieve this, we have natural resource management and food system, national mission on sustainable ag agriculture. Then we have soil health management. Then to improve resource efficiency, we have resource efficiency that BE. Yeah, that uh, uh, star rate, star system means uh, 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 renewable energy, effective, efficient use of uh, re renewable energy, energy appliances. Then we have sustainable construction and building. We have uh, green rating of buildings, public procurement also, and very clean. Nowadays we are using uh, having that uh, e procurement system. Then sustainable tourism is one of them. And if you look into our efficiency of uh, natural resources, uh, uh, that annual groundwater withdrawal rate is also one of that. That also we are effectively, efficiently using, taking care of regeneration, natural regeneration of uh, 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 groundwater in some of the uh, state. Though uh, some of the state are far behind that, but in some of the state, our uh, effective utilization of groundwater, it's um, efficiently using. Hazard waste generation also, uh, reducing, uh, recycling also, solid waste treated, get interactive biopower. These are some of the indicators to look into the performance of our different scheme to, that taken care of sustainable production and consumption pattern. Thirteen is climate action. In climate action, we have integrated climate action policy strategies. We have national action plan on climate change. So in national level, we have eight goals. Then in state level, we have state action plan of climate change. So for that, uh, in, under this goal, we have to have a clean energy. We have Pradhan Mantri, Uzula Zosna. Then for emer, uh, emission intensity, we have national air quality monitoring program regularly doing by CPCP in collaboration with different institution organizations. And uh, to improve disaster risk reduction and preparedness, which is a part of the important uh, for uh, to fight with or to combat climate change, we have national policy and disaster management, national disaster management plan that focuses on disaster resilience and integrate this Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction as well as SDG. And uh, to fatality to do uh, to uh, due to extreme weather events also uh, decreasing. Yeah, by here because we are well prepared. Even if you look into the different uh, the unexpected, you know, that even because of climate change, like cyclone, others we are able to, uh, I mean, fight uh, uh, manage very well this uh, to fight with this natural disaster. Fourteen is life below water. Under this, we have uh, you know. Uh, 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 marine litter, microplastic are very one of the threats to. Uh, the ecosystem, uh, ocean ecosystem. So in that also, we have national marine litter policy, litter policy, and we have marine observation system along on our coastline. We have integrated national fisheries expanse that connect 15 million beneficiaries for livelihood opportunities through various intervention. Uh, regularly, we are regularly monitoring coastal water quality index then mangrove coverage, uh, mangrove coverage, we are regularly, uh, I mean, studying uh, by different organization institution. Aquaculture potential also taken because it is very related to the sustainable livelihood of those farmers, the fishers that are 
it just depend on agriculture, aquaculture. So that's also we're working uh, very well. Uh, next is life on land. Uh, when you talk about life on land, the managing forest is very important and wetland water bodies, uh, all these are <clears throat> important. So we have, as you know, we have national forest air and others to take care of that. And to take care of wetlands and water body, national river conservation plan, national plan for conservation aquatic system. These are some of the, you know, uh, this initiative in legal intervention, a number of legal interventions is there. We are eco development program, uh, and then uh, forest conservation act, and wildlife protection act. We have wild pro for wildlife protection. We have wildlife protection act, combating desertification. Also, uh, with afforestation scheme, integrated waters and management program is there. The national afforestation program, national mission for green India. This is one of the uh, program on the national action plan on climate change. Then uh, in these, if you look into uh, the progress so far, uh, we have the forest and tree cover in each and every state is increasing. The decadal sense and external water bodies also increasing. Desertification also decreasing. Uh, then I'm not going in details. Uh, then number 16 is peace justice strong institution. Without peace, there will be no sustainable development. Without sustainable development, there is no peace. So uh, if you want to look for, towards, uh, for a peace, you need to have those what we have discussed from starting from ending uh, and poverty, hunger, uh, and hunger and others. So for achieve all those goals also, we need to have peace. Without peace, you do not be. Achieve. So these are interrelated to each other. So in twisted direction, reducing violence at different level needs to be, uh, it's very important. That's why we have a number of uh, legislative inter intervention that like uh, Juvenile Justice Act, POC show and others. Then we need to have accountable and transparent institution. We have right to information act, the progressive platform. And these are some of the, then uh, for this speech and equality, we have other biometric based legal identity for all. That is very important to maintain, uh, to give a legal identity and then to look into that density of code is also important uh, parameter to understand that or to uh, check the progress. So these are 13 codes per 100 lakh, 10 population in India, but registered means Adhar coverage, these are some of the indicators that looks into peace partnership and this, this particular goals. Goal number 17 is partnership. Uh, so uh, under this Niti Yuga, as I mentioned, you, Niti Yuga play an important role and, uh, and actively engage uh, with different sector, uh, private and public sector, industrial, uh, uh, even industries body to propagate the measures of sustainable and responsible business practices then in UN system, in, in, uh, in the UN system, India has been a close partner of the government civil society since its inception of SDG, as so adoption, implementation, monitoring in the country. So idea behind this effort is to cultivate and disseminate the principle leaving no one behind and share responsibilities to ensure a sustainable future. So Niti Aayog and the Ministry of uh, Statistical, uh, Statistic and Pro Program Implementation are working closely with the state and union territories in developing their own state industry indicator framework. That means we are aggressively working at local level to achieve those goals. Furthermore, in engagement with the civil society, the need of citizen generated data is being pursued. Efforts are underway to explore the possibilities of using them in monitoring the progress towards SDG. In the area of international cooperation, India has a play has played a leading role. The country is strong supporter of South South cooperation, and we're taking important role. As I mentioned, you even in terms of achievement like Manirega and others, and because of that, we're achieving a lot. So these are the goal wise top studying in territories. You will see, uh, the, for example, in uh, goal number one, no, no poverty, Tamil Nadu, Jamun, Kasmin, Ladakh, they are the uh, achiever means uh, top runner. Then in that way, what is IGNO's role? 
I just want to emphasize on that the region is able to achieve all these things. We need an integrated approach. And if you look into that, education is one of the key. Because when you look into conventional education system, uh, we will not be able to achieve, but to give those important messages or to reach, to diffuse and to diffuse and infuse uh, to a different section of the society. So, IGNOS is a nation open university. We are taking major role in growth in normal ratio, even reaching to the unreads. When you talk about reaching to the unreads, it is not only about your geographical richness, it's also about those educated people which we are not able to reach by conventional education, other way of education system because of some barriers. So we are able, we are giving education, reaching to them also. In land on bread of the country, and if you look into goal-wise also, if you study <coughs> different program, we have highly specialized areas that have a special socially relevant or need-based program like sustainable designs. You will not find such kind of program like gender sensitive program and like climate change and internet security. Such kind of highly specialized program is, I mean, available is also developed, is also giving uh, providing education uh, through uh, by IGNO. So this this is role we are playing. And uh, lifelong learning, we are providing through that at least we will be able to update or active mag citizens active in different issues. So this is uh, the references I uh, use and I'm sure most of uh, you must have looked into latest publication in June by Niti Ayo. Uh, the local uh, working with local something, uh, you look in that. Otherwise, also I am also sharing with that. Uh, with this, uh, I would like to end the session. It is a I know it is a uh, the session is uh, taking more than one hours. Uh,